Okay, so in 2005, in a year that I was born, Steve Jobs gave a speech at Stanford's commencement ceremony. And standing there in front of a large group of graduates, he said that as we live our lives, we do various things. And in that very moment we do them, we may not necessarily see any particular coherence or reason between them. He said that we cannot connect the dots looking forward. We can only connect the dots looking backwards. So we have to trust that the dots will somehow connect in the future. My name is Karolina Dombrowska, and I am here today because I firmly believe that participation in Queen Hedwig's scholarship program will be a huge and uh, vital dot in my future. So I'm passionate about chemistry and the human brain. Ever since I can remember, my dream has been to once be able to explore and to fully understand all the secrets of this remarkable and um, least known human organ so far. And another thing I link my future with is helping other people and therefore I'd like to become a neurologist. I've always dreamed of completing my medical studies at one of the best universities in the United States, because gaining knowledge in the vicinity of the world's best scientists and researchers would be for me a great privilege and also an opportunity to be close to the most important scientific discoveries that will be made in the next years. And here come the benefits that program would have for me. So a visit to such uh, amazing and fulfilled with science places like Stanford or NASA would allow me to get acquainted with scientific and academic community in which I hope to find myself in a few years. And uh, certainly I would also learn many import in important things that would be helpful later in applying to American universities. Another great thing uh, that I find amazing about the scholarship program is the people that will go for the trip because we, the applicants, all definitely have different passions, plans for the future and uh, talents. And the relationships that will develop during the journey will probably be highly beneficial both for us and our environments because now it could result in cooperation and integration of the most talented students from best published high schools. For example, in joint implementation of scientific or social projects or, and etc. cetera. But uh, however, in a few years, it could turn into international cooperation between world's best researchers from various fields. And that is, in my opinion, one of the most important and factors for development of science. Okay, so now you know about my goals, passions, future plans, and why would I like to become your scholarship holder. But I would also like to tell you about some dots that I have already marked on my way to making my dreams come true. So the first one, and the one that I'm the most proud of, is winning a title of laureate of this year's edition of Polish National Chemistry Olympiad. I was 10th among all of the competitors, which was also the best result among all female participants. So uh, another dot is my research internship, which I'm currently doing at uh, Faculty of Chemistry in Warsaw University of Technology. And uh, one of the things that um, the research team I work in is dealing with is development of biodegradable implant for cancerous bone. Uh, last year, I also completed an individual laboratory practice also at University of Technology in Warsaw. And my research there was focused on the phenomenon of optical illusion, and it corresponded perfectly with my interest in neuroscience, but also allowed me to gain knowledge in the field of psychophysics and optics. Uh, next dot, which I found a great experience, was volunteering in Klinika Matme. Within it, I was giving free tutoring in chemistry to children of medical workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. And it was amazing, not only because of the noble goal and that I could help, but I could also prove myself as a teacher. And that was that turned out to be a pretty uh, satisfying and effective way of consolidating knowledge. So as Steve Jobs said in the quote that I began my speech with, we have to trust. And what I trust in is that uh, the most beautiful and meaningful connections are those between the dots that were made made by following our heart and intuition. And what my intuition tells me is that everything beginning from my presence here today through all my current activities and hopefully participation in your program, all the people that I'll meet and places that I'll visit will one day connect. Maybe not in the way that I hope now, but still I'd be honored if you allowed me to find it out. Thank you. <laughs>
thank you very much. A very brief uh, uh, presentation. Marta, you have questions? Sure, sure. I have questions. I was very inspired by your words and by your presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, I feel okay. honored to hear such a mature um, presentation. I would like to ask you, what are the most important things for you? What is your life motto? My life motto is, I think, as I said in my speech, to follow my intuition, because I think that we all have to realize that we have one life and we need to live our lives, not the life of someone that we are not. So that's, I think, that's my motto. Yeah. And you have really great interests, especially this, you know, uh, one in neuroscience. Uh, and um, there is a topic of neurodiversity uh, being, you know, on the top of our minds in EY at the moment. Um, what do you think about neurodiversity as a concept? I think it's pretty interesting and it gives us uh, like I think it gives us a different view on the human brain, and it, for example, it definitely brings humanity's eyes on to what like neuroscience is. Because I think that we live our lives, we feel different things, and uh, most of people never just even consider why. And I think that understanding the brain uh, is like you know the way to help us find it out. Yeah. Thank you very much, Carolina. That's all from my side. Thank you very much, Adam. Hello. Uh, Hello. What, should, uh, what should you say uh, is your biggest motivation that gets you through the great amount of work uh, you must put into pursuing your education? Please tell me. Well, I guess it might be some unnaturally high levels of dopamine because I'm sometimes also asking myself why. But I think that... Um, that's my curiosity that's my curiosity about how the world uh, works like because ever since i remember i love to ask many different questions like why do humans behave the way they do or why we feel certain things uh, and i think that that's curiosity what drives me and motivates me to work mm -hmm. and actually i think that i'm just an ambitious person so <laughs> okay yeah. okay thanks and uh, referring to your essay uh, can you highlight which parts of your idol story uh, will you take as an uh, inspiration and which aspect uh, will remain areas for your uniqueness and uh, individualiz individualization? Oh, definitely uh, Yoki Matsuoka, my idol, uh, which an essay was about, uh, inspirates me with her ability to seek for opportunities uh, where other people would see obstacles. I'm trying to develop such an attitude to life because it's hard sometimes, but I think it will it will help me. Uh, it will help me and would help actually everyone who would decide to look uh, uh, to, on life like that. But, uh, well, what I leave for my originality is I think that everything else, uh, because I know that I have my own path. Uh, she had hers and all of us have, like, you know, an individual one. Thank you, Caroline. Caroline, thank you. No problem. Thank you very much. Uh, Carolina, I bet you have already decided about your uh, future uh, career. Uh, and perhaps also you have some thoughts about education. Uh, if you could choose from any university in the world, uh, which one you, you would uh, and, and why? Harvard, uh, I think uh, maybe, okay, it's one of the most popular universities, but uh, I really always like been dreaming about myself, you know, I'm entering the campus. I've watched a lot of movies, maybe that's, <laughs> that's just Harvard was in a lot of them, but uh, yeah, I, I would say Harvard. Which faculty? Uh, faculty, Harvard Med. I mean, at the beginning, you know, you need to complete the four years of college, but after that, Harvard Med, Harvard Medical School. Okay, and let me ask you a question. Do you know how many students there are uh, at Harvard University at all? At all? Uh, actually, I do not, but if I were, was to estimate, I would say uh, 
at all. Like, you know, the, the whole Harvard, right? Um, I uh, about maybe 2000 or some, I, I, maybe more. 12. 12, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, the whole Harvard University. So. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, so that might be, that might be that number. Okay. Karina, thank you very much uh, for your presentation. Uh, very interesting, bright future ahead of you. Um, jeszcze raz bardzo dziękujemy. Miło się było Dziękuję również. Z tobą zobaczyć. Uh, in, słuchaj, jutro, jutro będziesz znała Super. rezultaty dzisiejszego. Będę czekać z niecierpliwością. Dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję. Do zobaczenia. Ja chcesz, możesz się połączyć mm -hmm, z chęcią, na tak. stronie, żeby zobaczyć, jak prezentujemy. Z chęcią zobaczyć. Dziękujemy. Dziękujemy, Pani Karolino. Dziękujemy.